Hi there, uh, just in the garage, uh, coming up with a quick uh, whittling project. Um, what I was thinking of making is a little bookmark um, using a little split out bit of what I've got here is hazel. I've already marked the section where I want the head to be. Um, I'm not going to give you too many hints. Let's let's see how we get on and see what it comes out like. So uh, we've already hinted that there's going to be a head to it, which is going to be that section there. So using my little Mora uh, carving knife with thumb protection. First thing I want to do is create the face section. So about there, let's see how can we get that. About there, I'm just going to cut up towards the top. Like that. Now th this is seasoned wood, so it is quite um, quite hard to cut. Um, work works just as well with green wood. There we go. So we're a nice sort of sloping cut up towards the top of the head. I'm now going to carry that cut down to that stop cut I made made earlier on. Remembering to keep my fingers behind the blade and travelling down to the stop cut. There you, go. Now you might, if you're uh, sort of into sort of forest schools, be familiar with this design because it's quite a, a common uh, whittling craft. Um, so now we have a face section. And what we're going to do now, put a little V just in the top there to create the ears. Slicing down. Yeah, not being too forceful because I don't want to split through the wood. I mean, the advantage of using seasoned wood is it's quite forgiving. And you do get really nice clean cuts with it. There we go. So we're starting off a little set of ears. Now I want to turn this into a bookmark. So once I've sort of created the face, I do want to flatten out the rest of the uh, um, rest of the, the little quartered piece of wood that I've got. And I can do that um, either by a little bit of batoning, battening. So find the depth that I want. Pop the knife in there. I'm just going to rest it in the workbench behind me. Find a suitable oh, piece of wood. Now that has gone quite far in and now if I twist it, drill, it just carries on up to the stop cut. And you can see you've got a nice flattened section there. I'm going to trim that down a little bit more. So we get on. So we're just shaving off little sections here and just nice safe safe knife techniques cutting away and um, you see we've got a little bit excess wood here up to that stop cut and get my thumb give it a little push Getting them really thin for the bookmark. A little bit more to thin out. I'll just take some more off there. Alright, so we've got a bit of a face profile, a thinning for the bookmark. What I might do actually is, is just make those ears a little bit more pronounced. 
So I've got a sort of center mark there. Now I'm just going to shave off sections down into the center of that B. Okay, a little bigger. Now I'm just going to shape the ears on the other side because I quite like them to be a little bit pointy. Okay, so pointy now. Now around, I guess, the next section, I'm just going to make another V cut, a bit of a groove, and so we can pronounce that head, neck section, if you like. There. Okay, so point those ears a bit more. Okay. So I'll take a little pencil, draw in some some facial features first. I'm gonna. Colour in a nose and give them some eyes. Now this this could be done with um, soldering iron, so a little bit of pyrography, burn them in. But at least with, with a pencil, we can have a go. If it doesn't quite work, rub it out and start again. So here we have a little woodland creature. I was, I was aiming for a fox, it's quite quite stubby, um, but what I can do with the rest, so the body of the um, a bookmark, I'm now going to try and carve that into more of a, a pointy bushy tail, was it a, a fox's a brush, a brush, a fox's tail is called a brush isn't it, so using a the, using the pencil I'm just going to roughly mark out, yeah, mark out the point of the tail, pop back to my knife, my chest lever, Got some nice big slicey cuts in there, round the end off, there we go, so we kind of shaped the tail there, but what I want to do is, is show a bit of um, a sort of fur effect on the way up and again I'm just going to do that with little V cuts up the, the length of the, the tail so it's slightly different in angle some little some big you see there a wee one there bigger one there um, just to add like a little bit of texture up and down. It's all just a bit ad lib, isn't it? Let's make it up as we go along. And what I found is no, no two of these look the same. So we end up with a very individual, unique little bookmark. Quite, I quite like the bark on the back. I think it gives a nice, a nice texture to it. And there you go. With that, just just under ten minutes. A lovely little evening whittle, little woodland foxy bookmark. Give it a go and let us know how you get on. Cheers.